Hey YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. So today we're doing something a little bit different. I've been asked by a lot of people if I can show some of the ways that we prepare the wild game that we're hunting for. Now a lot of people often say that they don't keep the ribs on a deer because they don't really know what to do with it. So today I'm going to show you one of the recipes I like to use for venison and hog ribs that will make fall off the bone ribs for your family to enjoy every single time. want a chance to win both of these shirts for free all you have to do is make sure that you're subscribed to our channel and if you want to get more entries into this raffle just click right here to get more info about the raffle if you guys want to come hang out with us and maybe even do some hunting with us we're hosting a small game hunt and a lunch at JW Corbett together with Backcountry Hunters and Anglers. Now, if you don't know about Backcountry Hunters and Anglers, I suggest you go look at their website because they're one of the few organizations that's out there trying to make sure that we continue to have access to public land and fighting for new access all the time. This event's gonna be taking place on February 16th, and we're meeting at the south gate of JW Corbett at 645 in the morning. And if you're not an experienced hunter, that's okay. Shoot us a DM on our Instagram and we'll try and pair you up with a more experienced hunter that can take you out and show you the ropes. We really hope that you guys can make it to this event so that we can meet every single one of you. Okay, so here I've got some ribs from a deer that I shot this season. And if you wanna see the video of that, you can click right here to watch it. Now to kick this recipe off, first I'm gonna take these pre-defrosted ribs out of the packaging and I'm going to give them a quick rinse just to get off any blood or anything that's, uh, that's on there. Next, I'm going to cut these in half because we're going to be cooking these in a crock pot and I want them to fit nicely in there. down and they're going to fit into your crock pot you want to get your seasoning ready now this is a real simple mixture and you can use whatever you like but I like to keep it simple so it's just equal parts salt pepper onion powder and garlic powder okay so now we're just going to put the seasoning onto the ribs as a dry rub so just get a little bit in your hands and just rub it on there pretty liberal with this stuff. the meat seasoned we're going to put it into our crock pot and we're just going to stack them in there and we're going to pour in some boiling water now the water doesn't have to be boiling but if you use cold water it's going to add about two hours to the cook time because the crock pot's really slow to get it heated up so we're just going to pour that in there and you want just about enough water that it reaches about just as high as the ribs themselves. A little bit more. There we go. Beautiful. Now just cover it. Put it to high and four hours. So now that your meat's done cooking in the crock pot, it's time to finish it in the oven. Now in order to make this a quick and easy cleanup, 
I like to use aluminum foil and a little bit of non-stick spray on an oven dish. All right, so now we're gonna give these a light dressing with some barbecue sauce. Now you can make your own or you can just use whatever your favorite is. In this case, we're gonna use Sweet Baby Ray's Sweet Golden Mustard Barbecue Sauce. Now that we've got these covered with barbecue sauce, we're gonna put them into the oven at 325 degrees for about five to 10 minutes, just to let that barbecue sauce caramelize. Final product. This is uh, my dinner, but I just wanted to show you guys how fall off the bone this meat actually is. Check this out. It just comes right out. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. And if you like the content of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these cooking style videos, drop a comment down below and let us know what kinds of recipes you'd like to see. And if you haven't subscribed to Swamp and Stomp yet, make sure that you do that now by clicking right here. And if you want to watch a video of me and my buddy Alex shooting two really big public land bucks, you can click right up here. Or if you'd like to watch something about duck hunting, right here's a great video of us doing a wood duck hunt. Thanks for watching guys. Now get the heck out of my kitchen so I can eat this meal.